Question: Have any of you ever fainted, passed out? I have not. Just once, I have. Oh, well, yeah. I don't remember ever doing that. Well, anyway, yeah, it seems as if almost everyone has had a time when they have passed out cold. Yeah, as five million people saw our very own Brooke Graham had that experience on live TV during an interview. Well, that raised a lot of questions and concerns, specifically about Brooke's heart and the effects of fainting. Well, this week, Brooke and Brittany decided to put their hearts to the test at Intermountain Medical Center to see if they can get to the bottom of that fainting mystery. As most of you probably saw, I passed out on live TV. And the scary thing is, it's happened to me before too. So we came here today to Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute to get checked out. The first step, get an EKG. Now that I'm all hooked up, I'm ready for my EKG. Well, now they're going to hook me up with 10 different electrodes and they said it wouldn't hurt. We're here to get EKGs today. What does that mean? Um, an EKG is electrocardiogram. It just picks up the electrical impulses of your heart. And that's it. Great. I didn't feel a thing. Unfortunately, as I look at both of your EKGs, they're both normal. Well, I think it probably is the, uh, a reaction to, uh, you know, the cold uh, weather that might be uh, uh, what we call a, a reflex from the brain to the heart to slow it way down. We call a cardio inhibitory reflex. Um, sort of like a diving reflex, if you dive into cold water, it might do the same thing to sort of conserve energy. Usually we just say avoid whatever brought it on. <laughs> so avoid that cold weather and if you feel that you're getting a prodrome, ignore what anybody else says. Just <laughs> get just down, down, sit down, <laughs> lie down. Check it out, we passed. Thanks to the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute, we found out that a lot of people have fainting spells like this and most of the time they turn out to be normal. And we just want to say thanks to Dr. Anderson for seeing us today. And if you have any questions of your own, just go see your own doctor. And hopefully we won't be seeing her fainting anytime soon. Oh, our favorite remix. And we're so glad you're okay. But, yes. but it does raise a question. You want to get it checked out. Yeah, and yeah. I, I mean, it has happened to us in the past, so we've always kind of wondered about it. And I got a little scared after yeah. that happened, wondering if there was something wrong. Heart but here's our EKG. Proof. And we're healthy. We're, we're okay. We have no long-term treatment that we need okay. to do. It's just that we need to be careful to in really cold temperatures to and, not and to higher elevations yeah. so it was yeah. the combination mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. but they're not identical yeah the funny thing is the doctor said even though we're identical twins our hearts are different so we had hmm. different test results which is kind of weird mm -hmm. that's kind of cool to find out yeah. Yeah. yeah okay but a lot of people have like a little hole in their heart or something like yeah. that and it can cause problems and i had no idea how easy an ekg is okay i mean you can do it in five minutes oh yeah hurt. Yep. it's great okay so. so don't worry about it yeah, yeah. Oh. Relief. Okay. She's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us.